What I'm going to do today is actually talk to you about the pros and cons of low ticket and high ticket offers and exactly how to sell the two so that you can see which one suits you better. And at the end, I'm going to share with you what I actually do and I think this might surprise you a little bit. to another episode of Made For More podcast. I'm so, so excited to be here talking about my favorite thing, which is offers. How to turn your skills and knowledge into a digital product and create an offer. Because if you don't have an irresistible offer, no one is gonna buy it. And I hear this all the time. So many people are kind of battling between low ticket and high ticket offers. Should I do low ticket? Should I do high ticket? Everyone that you speak to and everyone that you see on the internet is pushing one or the other. And to be honest with you, it's so confusing. When you're seeing all these people that you respect and admire pushing one avenue, it's really hard to know what one is the right one for you. And this is what you always want to remember. There is something that is right for you which is not what your current guru or person that you're following is doing. And you might think, damn it, they're so successful, they're making all this money, I've just started doing low ticket and now they're saying that high ticket is the only way. And I really want you to get into the habit of looking at all the information that is out there and figuring out what is the right one for you, your personality, the type of business you wanna create, the kind of lifestyle you wanna build and figure it out what one fits in with you. So. What I'm gonna to do today is actually talk to you about the pros and cons of both. The pros and cons of low ticket and high ticket offers and exactly how to sell the two so that you can see which one suits you better and you can figure out you know, what kind of model you wanna go. And at the end, I'm gonna share with you what I actually do and I think this might surprise you a little bit. So stay tuned for that. So first of all, let's just dive into low ticket. Now, low ticket, is basically any kind of offer, whether that's a PDF guide, whether it's an online course, whether it's a retreat, whether it's a mastermind, something like that, is anything below the price range of around 2,000. Once your offer starts to get above $2,000 or 2,000 pounds, it starts to move into that high ticket bracket. And, and lots of people would say that that kind of varies, but overall on average, that 2K price point is around the same because once you get to 2K, the way that you sell that and the kind of funnel that you use to sell a product priced that and above is gonna be different to selling a product that's like $197 or something. So generally that tipping point is around $2,000. So first of all, let's go into the low ticket offers. A low ticket offer, could be $97, it could be $1997, it could be $1,000, it completely varies. And I've got many of these in my product suite. I actually started out with low ticket. I started out with a podcast course, which was $197. So kind of really on the lower end of that. And a course that would work really well in low ticket is a really general course, to be honest. I've got clients that are selling courses on menopause, how to you know work through menopause. I've got clients that are selling low ticket courses on baking. I've got clients who are selling low ticket courses on um, sexual fetishes. I've got so many people, so many clients selling courses on various different topics, but low ticket can be absolutely anything. So let's start off with the positives. Let's start off with the positives of selling low ticket products or courses. So low ticket obviously you know, it's very clear, this is gonna be much more affordable for a lot more people. Your product or your service is a lot more accessible for more people. So it means that obviously you can impact more people at one time, more people are gonna be able to work with you, more people are gonna be able to see what your coaching's like or what your service is like, and it's a much more affordable offer for a lot of people. It can also act as, a, as an entry point to a high ticket offer later on. A, a client of mine working in my high ticket program right now, she joined a really low ticket, it was like a $7 boot camp that I did or challenge that I did. She then moved into my membership, which was $39 a month. And she's now working with me in my high ticket program, which is 
many, many thousands. So it goes to show that actually, had that person found me first of all, and I told them only about my high ticket offer, they may not have wanted to work with me. But because they went through my challenge, then went through my membership, they started to know me, they started to trust me. They were like, okay, Carly really delivers on what she says. And I feel confident now spending a high ticket amount of money to work with her in her high ticket uh, program. So a low ticket offer can actually really help move people through your client journey and actually end up in one of your high ticket offers if you have one. So it can be a really, really good entry point, a really great way of showing how it is you coach, what you're all about and gaining that trust factor. And of course, with low ticket, it means that it's much more low support on your end. In terms of what you need to deliver, there is a course which is $197. You don't need to be doing weekly coaching calls. You don't need to be doing any one-to-ones. You don't need to be doing any of that extra stuff that you would in a higher ticket program. So it can be that someone will buy that product. They just go through those digital videos, those modules in their own time, and you don't really have any more contact after that if you don't want to. So you can actually build a pretty big contactless coaching program in that way. So it's a really great way. Lo, you know, low ticket is really good for testing out the water with your audience. I would say starting out with low ticket is a great way to get started to just see whether you like this and see whether this is something that you want to do and that you have, you know, knowledge that you can put into it. And obviously, I know that so many people when they start in this digital product space, their imposter syndrome kind of takes over. They're like, oh my God, why would someone pay all this money to work with me? I'm not an expert. I'm not a, you know, a professional coach. Why would anyone buy this? So this is a really good kind of stepping stone, getting into this world, easing your way into it and building up your confidence. Because if you have that low ticket product, someone's paid $97, they got great value from it. It's going to start to make you feel more confident in yourself as well. So low ticket is really good for that. The downsides of low ticket is that, I don't know why this is, but generally, people who pay less tend to want more. So a lot of the time, the people who pay the for the lower ticket offers, they pay less, and maybe it's been like a big stretch for them to get that money together, they're more that kind of like lower ticket client, they tend to want more, you get more refund requests, you get more, if you have a payment plan that you're offering, they tend to default on their payments more. Admin wise and customer service wise, they tend to want more from you and they tend to have you know, more issues, more problems. I don't know why this is. This isn't my personal opinion. This is across the board. If you speak to any coach, they will always say that, you know, low ticket clients tend to just be a little bit more, um, I don't know, ag <laughs> when it comes to customer service, which is weird, I don't know why, but that is the reality of it. It can, of course, also be harder to get your clients the results that they want because you're not able to give them that extra support. You know, you're not giving them the extra one-to-ones and the group coaching and the accountability and things like that. So it can be harder to get those clients the results that you wanna get because they're just getting those digital products, those digital courses from you. But also, they tend to not be as committed. Like if you think about yourself and you put yourself in the position of someone wanting to buy a low ticket course or PDF or something, that person, where they are at in their journey, their entrepreneurship journey or whatever it is that you're selling, when they are attracted to those kind of products, it's normally because they are dipping their toe in. They're just testing it out. They're like, yeah, I've got a, a, a vague interest in this. I'd quite like to learn this topic. I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna buy this low ticket offer. When someone is 100% committed to making a change, changing their situation or learning a skill, they tend to look more at the higher ticket offers because they're not dabbling. They really wanna do this properly. And this is what I actually hear on my calls all the time. The people who book in calls to hear about my high ticket offer, one of the sentences that I hear over and over again is, I just wanna do this properly. I, you know, I don't wanna mess around, I don't wanna try and figure this out, I just wanna do this properly right from the get-go. So those people who are 100% committed to making a change and having that transformation tend to look at the higher ticket products. So the lower ticket clients that it attracts are more people like just dipping their toeing, seeing how they get on. A lot of the time people will buy these low ticket courses 
go through it a little bit, you know, when they've got a little bit of spare time and they may not fully commit to implementing what they're learning in that course. So it can be harder to get the result for you. Obviously, as a business owner, you're gonna need a lot more sales of these low ticket courses in order to hit your income goals. So if you wanna hit 10K months and your offer is $97, then you're gonna need a fair amount of people that are coming in that are gonna buy that course to hit that, that 10K month thingy. I'm not saying it's impossible. Many, 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 many people do this, but you tend to need a bit of a bigger audience because with a low ticket offer, it doesn't make a lot of sense to pay for ads because your profit margins aren't there. Say for example, it costs $34 to get a client through Facebook ads per client and your offer is $97. It doesn't give you a lot of wiggle room there in terms of profit. Obviously, if you've got a higher ticket offer, you've got a lot of wiggle room. You can pay for ads. It can. It doesn't really matter too much how much it costs you to get that lead in because there is a, a fair amount of profit margin there. So with the lower ticket offers, it doesn't make a lot of sense to run ads to them unless you are using it to liquidate your higher offer, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. But as a standalone product, it doesn't make sense to run Facebook ads to it or YouTube ads to it as I said, because you don't have that profit margin. So it's a, a very dependent on organic growth. So using your Instagram stories, your Instagram reels, your email list, building it through that. So I would say that if you have a really tiny audience, you have no audience at the moment, it's gonna be harder to hit those 10K months with a low ticket product. You're gonna have to get it in the hands of a lot of people and trying to get it in the hands of a lot of people based on an organic audience growth model is going to be a lot harder. So I tend to say that if someone has no audience whatsoever, we actually kind of do it backwards. And I personally recommend doing a high ticket for those people that have no audience. We can run ads to it and then later on we can look at adding in a lower ticket offer to extend that client journey. But that is a whole that is a whole nother thing which I'm gonna go into in a second. So yeah, the downside of a low ticket offer is that you do need a lot more people to hit those income goals. If this really isn't kind of the basis of your revenue, if this is just like a nice little add-on that you wanna do, like you've got some knowledge you wanna share, you've learned how to, <clears throat> for example with me, I learned how to create a great podcast and I wanted to teach people how to do that because I love podcasting. That course wasn't the basis of my business. It's not the core offering of my business. It's just like a nice little you know, add-on because I really wanted to share the knowledge. So that makes a lot of sense as a low ticket, as a low ticket offer. So say you decide that you wanna do a low ticket offer. You listen to this today and you're like, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. I wanna make a product that's affordable for a lot of people. I feel like I've got a good size audience that I can sell this to. Um, I don't really wanna be like coaching and hands on with my clients. I just wanna give them something and then that's where it stops. Then obviously low ticket is great. So how do you sell that? Now, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. I'm a big, big, big fan of webinar funnels. You probably, if you've been around me for a while, you would have been on one of my webinars. And you'll also see that a lot of the other big people that I promote and a lot of other people around in the industry do webinars. Webinars really, really, really work. There's various different ways of doing a webinar, but webinars in general work. So I would say a webinar works really well, even for low ticket. Definitely if it's above, $400, then a webinar 100%, I would say is a good shout. I've got a product which is 997, um, and it's great to do a webinar to that. So a webinar funnel, you would have a registration page, they register for your webinar, they watch your webinar, that can either be directly into your in your website, so I have one in Kajabi, or it can be through a webinar platform like Webinar Kit or Webinar Jam or something like that. And then it will go straight to the sales page. So it's literally three steps. So it goes straight to the sales page, they can purchase that course straight away. It doesn't need to go any further than that. Or you could do a VSL funnel, which is a video sales letter. This is basically the same as a webinar funnel. You have a registration page to collect their email, but then it just goes to a short video on a landing page. It could be like a 10 minute video or even a five minute video, which is your VSL. And then that's gonna direct 
straight to the sales page. Or if you've literally got a PDF that you're selling or a little bundle offer and it's like $97 or below, then you could just literally promote straight to the sales page. If you're doing Instagram Reels, if you're doing TikToks or YouTubes, you could just go straight to that sales page and it's likely that someone's gonna purchase directly from that sales page. I purchased loads of low ticket offers directly from there. So that is how I would sell a low ticket offer. Now let's look at high ticket. So high ticket would be, as I said, anything $2,000 up. I generally would say that high ticket offer works the best for anyone who is helping someone improve their health, their wealth, or relationships. If your course or your services, whatever, really help one of those areas, it's perfect for a high ticket offer. Now, high ticket, there's lots of pros and cons of high ticket. Some people are really against it, some people are totally for it. So let's just look at the upsides and the downsides. So the downsides of a, uh, a high ticket offer is obviously that not everyone can afford it. You know, high ticket can go up to like 30K, even 100K masterminds, and not everyone has that kind of money to invest in their business. So it means that your product or your service is not necessarily gonna be accessible for everyone. However, there is loads of stuff that you can do to help. For example, I've just actually partnered with a finance company so that I can offer up to even 60 months finance on my high ticket offer. So it means that actually it does make it much more affordable. It means that payments every month are a couple of hundred pounds and it's way easier to help people get that high touch coaching, get those really big transformations without having to fork out the money straight away. So there are ways around making it more affordable for other people. And of course, you as a coach, there's much more pressure to deliver. If someone is paying two, three, four, five, six, even 8,000 pounds for your coaching, they, there's more pressure to deliver, you know, and you need to know that you're able to deliver that kind of quality content and that kind of quality coaching, and you need to believe in the transformation that you're offering in order to offer, a, you know, a program of that price. So that's the downside of it. The plus side of it and the upside is that you personally, as a business owner, can obviously hit your income goals way quicker. So it's gonna be way easier to hit 10K months if your program is 5K. You've just gotta get two clients every month. You've hit your 10K uh, goal. So it's much easier to hit those big income goals that you've got. Of course, you're also working with less clients as well. So it means that A, you don't necessarily have to have as big of an audience, but B, you're not working with quite so many people at one time. So your admin, your customer service is gonna be way less because you've got so many people coming through. But also, I know everyone in my program. I know exactly them, their business, who their ideal client is. I know every aspect of their business because I'm not working with 100 clients at one time. So it means that me as a coach, I can have a much better handle on my clients and I can help them in a much more personal personal way. And of course, that means I can help them get much better transformations. You know, if I'm working that closely with someone for six months, which is what my program is, then I'm going to be able to get them a much bigger transformation than if they were just going through some video modules. So that's a really great thing. If you really care about creating transformation and having that that true impact with people, then offering a high ticket program really enables you to do that in a way that works for your client and works for you as well. And of course, as I said before, when you have a high ticket coaching program, you can afford to run ads without it massively affecting your profit margin. With a 6K program or a 5K program, there's a lot of room to play around. Even if your leads are quite expensive, there's a lot of room to play around there to be able to get those good quality, perfect ideal clients in using Facebook ads or YouTube ads. So you're not so reliant on organic growth, posting on social media all the time. I had listened to someone the other day and they said, if you're doing it organically, you should be posting uh, three to five times a day on Instagram like what who the hell has got time to be posting three to five times a day on instagram that is literally a full-time job and i want to be coaching i don't want to be posting on social media all the time so for me personally that doesn't fit my my uh, personality type and how i like to grow my business so for me personally i love high ticket i can have high transformation with my clients i can work with great committed people obviously the people that are 
paying a high price for you, they are all in. Like my clients are hanging off every word I say and they are implementing and taking action on everything I say because they paid a fair amount of money to get that information. So people aren't dabbling, they're not quitting halfway through, they're not just like, oh, Love Island's on tonight so I can't be bothered to do it tonight. They are, they're taking action. And you know me, I love working with the action takers. So that's why I love working with my high ticket clients because I know I'm gonna be able to help them massively. So how do you sell a high ticket program? It's kind of the same-ish, but there's a change at the end. So obviously, as I said, I love webinar funnels. Webinar funnels work so perfectly for high ticket uh, offers, and it would go very much the same at the beginning, registration page, webinar, a short webinar. It's nothing like crazy. But something that I love about a high ticket webinar is that you actually don't have to go into a big sales pitch. So with a low ticket webinar, a good section at the end of that webinar, probably about 20 minutes, is gonna be a sales pitch. It's where you're talking about your program, how much it is, you're doing a full sales psychology aspect when you're getting them to see the value of that offer. So a good chunk of that webinar is gonna be selling. With a high ticket webinar, it's not really selling, there's no pitch. I don't have any pitch at the end of my webinars because instead I direct them to book a call with me. Now the reason that I do that is because I don't want to work with just anyone. I'm spending six months with these people. You know, I'm gonna know every single aspect of their business and I really don't want someone to join my program who is not the right fit. Also, I don't want someone to join the program that I don't feel like I wanna work with. You know, like if we're just not a good match, I don't wanna commit six months of my time to that person. That probably sounds really harsh, but you know, I'm building my dream coaching business here as well. And that is as important that you select your clients as it is that they select you as a mentor. So I like to have this call. It's an accelerator call. It's 45 minutes to an hour. We actually work out a whole strategy for their business. And then at the end of it, once we worked out that strategy, if I feel like my program is the right fit for them, then I will invite them to take a look at my program there and then. If I don't, then I'll direct them somewhere else and I'll say, do you know what? I think this would be better suited for you. That may be one of my programs, it may be someone else's. But it's a really great way of getting to know that client better and understanding whether this is a good a good partnership. So that's kind of the difference. Or if you don't wanna have that webinar, you may also have something on your website. You could even have YouTube or Facebook ads running straight to your book a call page. So if you did a high value YouTube advert, then you could do that, they get something from it, you call out exactly who it is that you wanna speak to, like who should book that call, and then you can send them direct to that to that section where they can book a call. Actually, part of my funnel, part of my high ticket funnel is an application process as well. So people don't even get on a call with me until they filled out the application form, and again, I can bet that I feel like they're the right fit to have that call. So those are the two different ways that you can um, do it with a high ticket funnel, but basically I would never recommend selling a high ticket program without having that call first. So you can make sure that you're a good fit. So those are the differences between low ticket and high ticket. And what I do, my strategy is actually a hybrid of the two. So as I said, I started out with low ticket. I started out just kind of finding my feet, putting together a few courses, seeing how I go. And then I put together my high ticket uh, course. I had a high ticket course quite a few years ago as well, it was a mastermind. And what I do now is I actually have my high ticket program, that's my core signature offer, um, but then I also have two low ticket offers as well. So I have a membership, which is a low ticket offer, and then I'm also about to bring out a boot camp, probably like a two day boot camp, which is gonna be really cheap, like $27 or something like that. And the reason for that really low ticket one is actually to liquidate my ad spend. So this is a really smart thing that you can do once you do start running ads, whether it's YouTube, Facebook ads, whatever. When you have a low ticket offer, it means that you're getting these kind of bursts of $27 coming in for your bootcamp. The bootcamp will promote my high ticket offer. So it's gonna promote people to book a call with me and it's gonna be part of the funnel of bringing people into that high ticket offer. But those little bursts of $27 actually cancel out the money that I'm spending on ads to bring those people into my world. So it means that basically I'm getting free ads 
which is amazing. So free lead generation. So that isn't a more advanced strategy. You don't need to think about that right now. Right now, I would think about what fits you? What kind of business do you want to have? Do you want to have a set it and forget it type thing where you've got that passive income coming in? You're not really coaching. You're not doing group calls. You're not really that hands on, but your knowledge is out there. You have that passive income product. Your knowledge is out there and people are buying it. Or do you really want to turn this into a fully automated coaching business where you've got your your high ticket program, and then you're sprinkling on that one-to-one support as well. So think about what kind of business it is that you wanna create, what kind of knowledge it is that you wanna share, and which of those two products do you wanna start with? As I said, I really do believe in this hybrid model of using both, but first of all, think about which you wanna start with if you haven't started already. If you've got a high ticket offer already, think about how you can bring in a low ticket one now, to feed into that one. And if you've been doing low ticket for a while, think about how you can maybe start to bring in a high ticket offer for those people that have gone through your program, they love it, they got something from it, but they want more. You know, I I brought in this new high ticket program that I have because my clients were wanting more than I was able to give them in those low ticket offers. So I do actually teach both of these strategies. I have two ways which I can show you how to do this. So if you wanna go the low ticket model, if you wanna create your first digital course, you wanna learn about digital products, you wanna learn about growing your audience and building your email list and learning all about digital marketing as a whole, then I have a membership which is perfect for you. So my made for more membership is a 12 month membership. The reason I have it as 12 months is that if I make this a lifetime offer where you just come in and you can just pay and blah, 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 there's no accountability there. You are gonna sit with these courses and these modules in your inbox and you're gonna do absolutely nothing with them. So this is a 12 month membership so that you can come in, learn everything you need to know about digital marketing and digital courses and you can get up and running with creating your passive income stream. So that is through my Made More membership. I've also included in that my first signature program, which is called Digital Course Empire, where I teach you every aspect of creating a digital course. It's epic. I I was selling this program for $2,000 and I've actually included it inside my membership now as the core modules within that. And honestly, it's epic. It's a total over deliver. It doesn't even make sense to be selling it at the price that I'm selling it. But I really want to help more people create these digital courses and I want to be able to do it in an affordable price point. So my made for more membership is uh, in there. I also teach you how to sell this through that webinar format going straight to the sales page. And so if you are interested in that, the link is below in the description and you can learn all about that membership. If you wanna go the high ticket route, perhaps you've been coaching for a while, perhaps you have some courses and you really wanna create a fully automated coaching business or perhaps you've got loads of one-to-one clients right now and you are maxed out and you can't take on any more, then this is gonna be perfect for you. So if you are interested in going high ticket, I wanna take this training a little bit further and I wanna teach you my three-part freedom framework, which is where I go through the three Three main steps of creating a fully automated coaching business with a high ticket offer. So if you want to learn about that, then uh, click the link below. There is a link to join my webinar. You will actually see my entire process laid out. So even if you're just nosy and you want to know how this looks, you can go through that. You can watch my webinar, exactly how it works. My no pitch webinar and go through that funnel. And then I'll be sharing with you a little bit about my Freedom Accelerator, which is my signature high ticket program, which is where I get deep down and dirty in your business and we get to work together really, really closely. So I hope you found that helpful. I hope you that has given you some clarity on what kind of business you wanna create. If you are new to this and you're just getting started, hopefully that's helped you think, okay, I think I wanna go that route or I think I wanna go that route. As I said, there's no right or wrong. I'm not gonna come on here and say, you have to do this or you have to do that. I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons and you get to decide what's right for you. You know, as I always talk about, this is about you taking ownership of your life and the life that you want to create. It's not about me saying, just follow what I do. You can follow what I do, because it really works, but 
I want you to uh, decide for yourself which route is the right route for you. So there's two ways that I can help you. Click below in the description and I hope to see you in one of those avenues so that I can help you either create your low ticket course and create that passive income or build your fully automated coaching business. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you next week. I'm going to bring you so much more juice and uh, let's start building your freedom lifestyle, your freedom business. And I cannot wait to see you there. Bye.